luck is coming my way Wherever I go, hard luck is there to stay Good luck never stays a day A bad luck's always coming my way Today we are at IAPA 2019 here in Orlando. It is our very first IAPA experience. IAPA stands for the International Association of Amusement Parks and Attractions. Basically, it's a giant science fair of amusement park rides, budding technology, food, anything nerdy and cool. I say nerd, like it's a good thing. Our main focus today is- Science. Right? Our main focus today is to roam around the showroom floor seeking out anything spooky, riding whatever we can, eating whatever we can. Are you excited for anything in particular, Jessica? Cotton candy machine. We've seen videos of it online, yeah. like cotton candy flying through the air. So yeah. hopefully. The rides, oh my goodness, some of them scare me. Let's do it. And they're small. Now to give you an idea, this place is absolutely massive. Jessica right now is looking at the map of the convention floor. But people from all over the world come here to experience and see this, to buy attractions for their amusement parks and to nerd out like we are going to be doing today. Right now we're going down into the South Hall and a little peek through the windows there. This place is massive. Like there's a roller coaster. Gotta do it. All right. I feel like if we can do it, we should do it. Let's do everything. All right, so let's just stand here and take this in for a minute. This place is insanely huge. Oh my Lord. Like, I'm standing here and I can't even really comprehend this. And this is just one small area. Oh, there, there's people climbing. Oh yeah. Look at that, straight ahead. All right, we're gonna have some fun today. Oh my God, this thing is insane. There's no way in heck that you're gonna get us on this. And they just keep going around and around. Look, they're going upside down. Oh, for the love of Pete. What? That's just one big nope. Watching it is giving me anxiety. Uh, I mean, seriously, in what crazy world was this thing manufactured and thought up in dream? That's just. And we're gonna ride that thing. Oh my gosh. Now the thing about this roller coaster is the cars themselves, they actually spin, but that one right there in the front, the red wheel, you're actually spinning inside it. And that's the one we're gonna ride. Oh man. You recording? I'll try and keep it steady, yeah. All right. I love you. I love you. This is us, right? I'm scared too. This is us trying this out for you. So if you see this in an amusement park or a fair, when it comes time, ride it. I don't know if I can do it because I, I don't have, it's so big on me. Oh man. And this is the baby version. I love you. I love you, oh man. I don't know if I'll be able to hold it. Here we go. <laughs> oh my gosh! It really went through that first turn. Here we go again. I go airborne. <laughs> <laughs> I lost my headband. I'm sorry, whoever got it. Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh my god. That was intense. That was pretty darn intense. It whipped you around more than I thought it would. Yeah, it was a lot more uh, forceful than I thought it was going to be. 
is not for the faint of heart. No. Uh, I screamed like a sissy because I was terrified. Yeah. And uh, I lost my headband because my head bounced around so much, which I'm okay with, but wow. Caught air even. Yeah, even I caught air. Like, I was surprised. Like, it was like getting thrown against the wall, but having fun while doing it. I have shaky legs. Let's go see what else they have. I yeah. think axe throwing is over there. You want to oh, do some axe throwing? Yeah, I do. All right. I really, really do. This place is so massive that inside here they have this giant jungle gym like thing called the Sky Trail. Look, that person's zip lining across the convention center. Now here's the crazy thing about this place. Pretty much everything here you can ride or experience, whether it's a roller coaster, zip lining, or a virtual reality thing that they got going on. Well Jessica's gonna go do some zip lining right now. Alright, here she comes. Look at her! That was perfect! Can you imagine having something like this in your own backyard? I think Jessica would lose her gourd if she came home one day and I had this waiting for her. We've never had the opportunity to do anything virtual reality, but here they have something called Arena Space and Jessica and I are going to get inside there and we're going to fight zombies. If you have a thing for bouncy castles, they have all that here as well. Here's one for zombies. Well, they pretty much have anything and everything that you can imagine when it comes to bouncy castles here. This whole section is just filled with it. And you can hear the air and you can smell the plastic. They have a bouncy castle town jail. All right, so we have to go into the jail. Gotta scope this out. Oh my gosh, this is cool. It's like themed. There's a pumpkin. And Jessica's getting inside the jail cell. Are you? Are you really innocent? Oh, you're in jail for being bad booty. No, you don't, no, not shaking your booty. You're in, you're in jail for being bad booty. I cannot believe it. There is a Millennium Falcon hyperspace jump experience that you can climb inside. This is amazing. Oh, check it out. It's Darth Vader. And on the other side of the Millennium Falcon, there is a giant inflatable at at. This is awesome. My goodness. It is a zombie themed inflatable escape room. I'm kind of really digging these inflatable zombies. We need this in our backyard, Jessica. Oh no, oh no, he is. Well, how you doing, sir? What on earth is going on over here? Why, well, hello, Patches. Oh my gosh, you guys are so cute. Jessica has a habit of running and hugging furry things and Patches is no exception. So this is a carnival game that you can play or it's a game you can bring to your carnival touring game. However you say that, but I want to give it a demo really quick. Let's see how I do. Ready? So you got to put him together. I don't know how long I have, but we'll see. Oh, you got 
got this. There you go. I am obsessed with 3D glasses and paper optics, and this booth here is the creme de la creme. I have nowhere near the amount of glasses that you see here, but check out these haunted houses, spooky ones. Look at that one, the Trail of Fear. Oh, crazy cool. They even have a little section here devoted to spooky specs. And they even have some that look like the old x-ray specs that you can find in like, you know, old comic books. This little section here cracks me up because they are, it's like different characters and like masks. But if you come down here to the bottom, underneath the dogs and the dinosaur and the unicorn, there's an Elvis Presley one, baby. There's a little section here devoted to the magazine bind-ins. And look at that. There's a True Blood 3D glass. Our collection at home just got a lot bigger thanks to American Paper Optics. And if you're watching this and you're a fan of our show, they might be showing up in our store very soon. Virtual reality is very heavy here. It's amazing. A lot more fun than what I thought it was gonna be. I have no clue what is going on here, but it's pink, it's alien. And it screams kawaii. There's not much Halloween here, but we did find a little Halloween booth with a character and some pumpkins. Out of everything here, this place speaks to us more than anything else. It's the TAA group who's responsible for a lot of the creative theming in the theme parks. Even what they have here on display at IAPA is quite beautiful. And here's just an example of some of the parks and some of the themes that TAA Group has made. Crazy cool. Stunning. Now there's not very much spookiness here. No. So it's nice to see it represented. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> the O'Neill FX Group here is really bringing it when it comes to Halloween. I really need to start a collection of Halloween masks. If only these were in our house every single day. And this guy over here is extra spooky, extra creepy. Oh man, that's bad booty. They even have a talking, horrific scarecrow. That looks very lifelike, doesn't it? Oh man. They have this thing here called Flying Cotton Candy. And basically, look how awesome this looks. That is pretty darn amazing. Jessica is obsessed with cotton candy. How cool is that? I don't know. Oh, she's gonna be a happy girl. It just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> yeah, I think her day is pretty much done. Uh, so she's been talking about it nonstop. Oh, uh, that's my wife. I love that girl. <laughs> Believe it or not, they have an animated dinosaur here. Jessica, don't feed them cotton candy. Cotton candy's for you. 
I know he, no, he doesn't, see, yeah, he does want the cotton candy. You should know this, that whenever you put something like this in front of me, and something for me to push, I gotta do it. That's awesome. Now we've seen pictures of this monstrosity online, but to see it in person, what on earth? That's a big nope from us as well. cool thing. We just spent all day on the inside of IAPA, but they also have a whole outdoor exhibits section, which is where we're headed now. Still on the search for things that are creepy and spooky and all things Halloween. It's like one giant fair, like a county fair that you'd go to. Oh man, we got a lot to see. Our prayers have been answered. There finally is a haunt featured here called the Dead Farm Productions. Oh, this place is just perfect. Look at that. This is right up our alley. I love me some good ice cream. But this one here is a little bloody. And you can hear it. <laughs> oh, yeah. A nice little touch on the side of the ice cream cart. It says bad humor. That is perfect. And on the back side of this haunt, Dead Farm Productions. Look how bloody and creepy this is. And there's an oven with somebody inside it. And what good haunt wouldn't be a haunt without some spooky masks. But hey Jessica, there's a little pad over there. You should go step on it. <laughs> Got you again. Now don't get me wrong, IAPA is pretty amazing. We're having a great time, but you do need a lot more Halloween, more haunts, more scariness. Against my better judgment, Jessica has convinced me to ride this monstrosity. That's love, folks. That's love. My hand, How much ice cream did you eat? Only a little, oh gosh. Hopefully it spins out that way. Oh no, the gates are down. We're getting ready to go. Here, oh Jesus. Oh, see this isn't that bad. Yet. Right? Yet. <laughs> I'm scared. Oh, I can feel it. Terrifying. Whee! Oh my, no, 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 no. Alright, here we go. Thank you. You're welcome. Whee! 
is starting to go down and Jessica's wish today is coming true. She is in a giant snow globe. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. So that's pretty much about it for our first ever IAPA convention. It was pretty amazing. It was a lot better and a lot bigger than what I thought it was going to be. So I'm very happy about that. So yeah. We got to ride some rides. Yeah. Got to eat some Weird. amazing snacks. Met some cool people. Mm -hmm. All in all, it was spooktacular. What'd you think, Jessica? I'm exhausted. You could probably see it in my face. Like, you know, when the body starts going and you lose your energy, you're like, done for the day. Yeah, it's what? Whooped. We got here at roughly around 10 a.m. And it's yeah. almost 6 o'clock yeah. in the evening. And all we did was walk from vendor, from booth, to ride, to snack, all day long. It was worth it. It's great, but it's, man, so much energy draining, you know, uh, conversations that, in a good way. You know, you're laughing and you're talking with people and making friends and everything and you realize that you've been here for like eight hours and you're like wow i'm exhausted you know what i am going to have to say this spooky empire was phenomenal we're going to be doing texas frightmare weekend in may this iapa is probably one of my favorite things to do so far so far I'll be it. This is our very first time. Yeah. But I'm really looking forward to IAPA and 2020. Our very, very first. Yeah. So. A lot of first times. Bring it. So, until next time, mm -hmm. IAPA, thank you for inviting us down, for having us, hosting yeah. us as press. We had a blast. I just know clone. Can't wait till next year. Wherever I come, I've had luck. It's coming my way. Wherever I go, hard luck. Is that it? Good luck never stays a day. A bad luck's all.